Welcome to Paris out of the house. I'm back out with Sam, he's on his DR350. We're just going for a nice quick one. Probably about half an hour. I'm currently um, in Raglan. We're gonna head to Usk, and then we're gonna head out to a place called Wentwood. It's like a sort of forestry. Have a little blast through there, then Sam's gonna make his way home, and I'm gonna get back home as well. So this should be a quick one. The ship in there we are another pub that you can stop and eat or drink in I wouldn't recommend drinking alcohol and riding these bikes so plus it is illegal got a place here called Raglan Farm Park that's like um you know like these community farm sort of things you can go and see all the animals, the ponies, there's soft plays. It's actually not a bad day out for the kids. You can spend most of the day there. If you look there, they got like, can't see, let's have a look. I don't know if you can see that, but they've got a range of like sort of picnic benches, playground area. They got ponies, donkeys, um, sheep, whatever, you know, all the farm animals. They do tractor rides, I think they're a quid. You can sit on the back of the trailer. Have a little tow around the field. Yeah, not a bad day out there if you've got young kids. And even if it's raining, the soft plays are all inside underneath the barn. So, good day out. I can highly recommend it and it's not particularly expensive. I think it's maybe five quid ahead or something like that. So, we're just pulling off that road, heading towards us now. Somewhere around here you've got Lan Soy Gliding Cub. And on a nice day with the right condition, the sort of conditions we've got today actually, you sometimes see the gliders taken off, being towed by a tractor. Up in the air they go. Anyway, I'm dawdling. Let's go and catch Sam. So we're just coming into Usk and I think we're going to take a left here and we're going to head out, it's quite a nice road this actually, head out towards Wentwood, several ways we could have done it but, oh no, we're carrying on, I think we should have gone that way, yeah, we've gone the wrong way. No problem, problem solved, and this way actually isn't any slower than going that way, in all fairness, because this is the road we want anyway. And then head up into the, the forestry, there's some nice roads up there. I can't get my bike into first today, don't know why, maybe I'm low on oil. This on the left here, us prison, where all the big bad and nasties go. Feel the temperature reducing as I'm going up and up here. Oh, my ears are popping. <laughs> He's mad. He always does that. He never gives me room to get through the silly sod. This is why I like him going in front. He knows the road's better than me. He rides faster than me, so he's a good pacemaker. I was out on a ride yesterday and the tyres were lovely. They were warm, they were sticky, and it felt great. But you can see all the loose grit and gravel, and that's where when you slide, you slide, and I don't know. I'm just a wuss, aren't I? But see, he's gone. He's nuts. 
I'm just, I don't know, some days you're feeling it, some days you're not, and today's one of those days that I've got to say I'm not, so I'm going to take it easy, because that's when you make mistakes, and I want to go one with one piece today. All right. Um, I think going round to Chepso is going to take me too long. I might just head back from here. I'll go back to us. Okay, well, if I disappear there, I hang a left on that little... Only down there, that's the way I'll go. You almost overshot it on that bridge, didn't you? Fucking right, I did. Do you see the back side then? There was a car coming the other way. I know. You the car. It's, um... <coughs> I, did, I did wave to say sorry. The... It's what it was, they had to put a lot of brake on, and I'm always a bit like, they say on these to put loads of brake on the front, yeah. but I always get worried about sliding, then I had, and the back end goes light looking, you know, and it started just sliding, and it was that thing where I was like, do you take the brake off now and bank, and I saw the car, and then I was like, oh, do I just sort of put my foot down, so my foot came out, and it stopped, and then I could go. I just haven't got the ball sometimes. In an emergency stop, if you, if you can somehow push yourself back in the seat, put your weight over the back, yeah. as well as bracing on the bars it, it makes it well i think if i wanted to stop i would have stopped a lot quicker the trouble is i'm trying to stop and thinking i want to go around the bend yeah. is what i need to do really with this is take it on one of those supermoto tracks one day a small track and actually learn how to ride it properly because yeah, i'm sure it's a hell of a lot more capable i don't think you need to that's why i let you go in front then i wasn't feeling it then <laughs> i got the jitters so i thought i'm letting you go in front again the thing is you don't really know the road that well i don't see that coming through that wood there i couldn't remember which were the type of and which were the not i can see you know one better than me though because you go the right direction but sometimes i do and i'm like in the wrong place and that's when you overshoot it innit Does he go around those bends as speed he's going without sliding his wheels out? I don't know what it is he does. I tried to copy him, but maybe he's just leaning the bike. Bigger front wheel, maybe? Don't know. So as you probably just heard, or maybe you didn't, we're going to head back, actually, because we both need to be back, and going that way was going to take a bit longer than we wanted. <coughs> if we had the evening to play with, then I guess that's what we do, but no, and I'm really sorry, I've just noticed on the camera there are flies all over the lens. So I'm gonna try and rectify that for you now. Sugar. Well I was doing that, I almost just rode into a into a hedge. Well, hopefully that's a bit better for you anyway. I can't get that other fly off and I'm probably gonna kill myself trying so my jacket which was a relatively new jacket hardly worn taken out a few times now the air jacket and it is absolutely covered in flies it's like a fly catcher all right so somewhere around here i'm going to leave sam right by here so I'm gonna head off now to um, a place called Newbridge on Usk and make my way back home saves me driving back to Usk so as you saw on the sign there this is called Lantricent not to be confused with the Lantricent past Cardiff <coughs> this is just a small little village Coming down these roads on a hot summer's day like this reminds me of a child going on holiday to Italy. We drove through France on a coach. It was like a day and a half getting in. <coughs> Excuse me, I think the old hay fever is playing up and it's got my throat. And you drive through these fields of just crops everywhere. Really long and flat. Very dry. Ah, this is where I'm going. Almost went too far then, didn't I? So, this now takes you to Newbridge on Ask a lot of the river esque in these videos because everywhere we seem to ride you've got to cross that river to get from one side to the other so here's another bit of the river esque and like i said new bridge on esque and this is actually as far as i'm aware the tidal limit of the river esque is this village 
so they say pretty much below this bridge that is the tidal limit so you actually still get tidal water here and it's what is interesting I used to go swimming down the road when I was young on rope swings <coughs> And jumping in and somersaults and whatnot, just having a laugh with my mates. We'd ride up here on a bike and have a day of it. Um, but it's what's interesting is you find like marine species of fish in here. I used to find little baby flounder and stuff like that. So although it's like fresh water upstream, because it's well, I guess it's brackish, isn't it? It's a bit tidal. They used to scuttle around by your feet, all the little baby ones. It'd be mad. It'd be like loads of them, like loads of little discs just swimming around by your feet. The good old days. We used to just go off with your mates on a bike and go swimming in the river all day. I don't know, does anyone do that anymore? I'm not sure. Got a lot of adults, as we saw in one of my other videos, doing this, as they call it, wild swimming. We didn't call it wild swimming in my day. We just called it kids having fun in the river. So this is a little village called Tridunna. Now they used to have a sign here saying it won like the Village of the Year Award or something back in like 1993 and I remember every year you come past and that sign would still be up and I think it's probably time to take it down now. So that was just a quick blip, started in Raglan, almost sort of touched on Usk, went up to Wentwood, changed our minds, came back, I've just come through Lantrissant, Newbridge on Usk, Tridunnock, so I'm going to get stuck behind a tractor now and I reckon that's probably a good place to call it a day there, so if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a like. If you haven't done so already, then please subscribe. Press that bell icon for regular notifications. I've been Pace, out of the house. Ta-ta, farewell. <laughs>